நண்பர்களே உங்கள் எல்லோருக்கும் வணக்கம் ஐ எம் வெரி ஹாப்பி டு பி இன் தி எஸ்ஆர்எம் யூனிவர்சிட்டி அண்ட் பர்டிகுலர்லி த யூனிவர்சிட்டி எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்ட் என் காட்டம் கிளப் கிளப் குளத்தூர் and uh, remote from uh, nearly remote from the big city and to see 27000 students i am very happy that uh, how a yeah, multiple discipline engineering medical humanities and management all together uh, you can at one part, particular place and also very happy i am going to address some of the students who come from outside first of all i would like to greet at uh, the chancellor uh, mr t r pachamuthu and uh, uh, pro pro chancellor uh, ravi then vice chancellor satyanarayan and uh, pro vice chancellor professor t p ganeshan uh, registrar uh, tangaraju and uh, advisor uh, dr manik um, sahani and all the uh, all the faculty members Uh, and also the teachers all the teachers and students i am very happy to be with you uh, friends i am the the way you all organized and so many of you a different discipline makes me very happy and uh, one of my dream is that in a campus you must have engineering college you should have a medical college you should have humanities all together and what is one more thing needed here apart from management that is a yeah, school a yeah, school if you do my ideal university one you add you will become ideal university mr pachamuth sir will do it i hope what is that uh, that is when the students go out of this campus srm university they will get transformed the university campus will transform them as the as the enlightened citizen that means enlightened citizen what is the meaning of a enlightened citizen apart from what we learn we should learn the value system value system derived from our uh, civilizational heritage if you add that then a full fledged university is born and that is my wish and i can discuss details how to do that but you have all the dimensions of becoming definitely becoming a great university i am delighted <laughs> friends i am going to be with you about 40 minutes 35 to 40 minutes i am delighted to meet and address the students of srm university and the uh, participants of arush 207 who have come from number of engineering colleges from various places uh, my greetings to all of you while i am with you i would like to talk about what i can talk to you you can give me ideas but i decided i first i will start with since you are a knowledge institution i would like to talk about knowledge uh, what is this knowledge knowledge what are its components knowledge equal to according to me knowledge equal to creativity plus righteousness plus courage let us define now knowledge equal to creativity righteousness and courage now when you leave this now the combination of these characteristics what i said three thing can generate enlightened citizens when you leave the university campus education and the learning process above all the way of life teachers you you are not only what you learn in your syllabus the way the teachers live the way teacher teaches the ways of teachers the ways of teachers 
all becomes the education so that the integrated way is knowledge now let me define i said knowledge equal to creativity uh, plus righteousness plus courage what is creativity now you attempt with me eh? all of you when i say will you say learning gives creativity creativity leads to thinking thinking provides knowledge knowledge makes you great knowledge makes you great when there is beauty in the character there is harmony in the home when there is beauty in the character there is harmony in the home when there is harmony in the home there is order in the nation when there is when there is order in the nation there is peace in the world now where do you where do you get that that peace in the world the starting point the starting where the, the starting point the righteousness in the heart how do you get it righteous in the heart how do you get it that's why i said yes sir i'm university you have everything the righteousness if it is built in you you are becoming finally the world class citizen and the enlightened citizen that's why the second co- first component creativity second component now we are coming to the third component that is courage 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 to think different courage to invent courage to travel into an unexplored path courage to discover the impossible courage to combat the problems and succeed or the unique qualities of the youth as a youth of my nation i will work work with courage to achieve success in all the missions so friends so now you know what you are doing in this campus srm campus what you are doing okay understood understood yes now the next pa- next subject i am going to discuss with you i am visualizing i am visualizing how the engineering how the engineering medical management other pro- professionals assembled here to make a difference to the billion people of india in the develop in the development profile of the nation by 2020 let me now i am going to let me present the distinctive profile of india 2020 when you go out of this campus you will be working at various places somebody some people will be do- how many of you want to become a great scientist lift your hand how many of you want to become a great medical doctors medical doctors how many of you great medical doctors okay how many of you want to go to mars mars how many of you got what mars very good very good good luck for all of you i'll be with you i will give you a 3 point worth you take it eh? all medical students okay number 1 we 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 the medical professionals we realize that we are doing god's mission we will we will give part of our time for treating patients who cannot afford we will treat we will treat at least at least 
20 rural patient 20 rural patient in a year in a year at minimum cost at minimum cost going to going to rural areas rural areas will you do that yes we will follow the motto we will follow the motto let my brain let my brain remove the pain remove the pain of the suffering humanity of the suffering humanity and bring smiles and bring smiles okay thank you wish you all the best thank you sir It's a great honor for me to receive the honorary degree from this university. I have heard a lot about this private university which is doing a lot to see that quality education is imparted to the young people and I think in its effort to impart quality education and carrying out outstanding research I think it is succeeding extremely well. I believe in the years to come this university will become a champion of quality, a champion of the future. <laughs> Talking of the future, I must say a few words. In about 20 to 25 years, the Indian educational scene will be something we cannot even imagine. In fact, I have been talking about this to various people in Delhi. How to be prepared for the future of India in the education sector? We will have an additional roughly two to three crores of young people coming to universities and higher education in about 20-30 years. A large body of our young people in our rural India will all be coming to colleges and universities. We will have to prepare for this tremendous explosion in our education system. How to provide quality education to such large numbers of students, how to yet motivate them how to improve quality, these are problems and challenges that all educational institutions will face in the next two decades. In particular, I must say, in science and technology, where I belong, it is extremely difficult to be on the top of this world. India is not yet on top of the world in science. We are doing reasonably well, but we are not a top country in science. We are probably a very 10, 15, 20, somewhere low in the ranking. We are contributing to scientific research, but to the total knowledge of science, to the top 1% of the research publications in the world, India's contribution is barely 1%. We have to increase our quality, we have to increase our contribution, not only in quality, but also in quantity. Many of our neighbors in Asia are coming up in a very big way. We have to compete with them, we have to excel and do extremely well. In all this effort, this university will have a major role to play and the graduates of today will have a major role to play. I wish you all graduates, young people of today, great opportunity and great success as well. I am sure that if you are motivated, if you want to do something, you will do it. The only problem is many young people do not decide to do something great, so they may not do it. All we have to do is decide to do something good, to decide to do something great and contribute to the future of this country. So I, want, I also want to wish the young graduates something today. I want all of you to become famous. Each one of you to become famous in everything you do. If you all become famous, this institution will become famous, this city will become famous, this country will become famous, and everybody will be proud to be Indian. And I wish this university tremendous success in its efforts to promote higher, high quality education and research and I am most grateful for this great honor this university has done me in giving me an honor is a doctor of science degree. Thank you so much. I am proudly privileged to be present in this momentous occasion of this great institution, multifaceted temple of learning that is completing 25 years of service. And I am greatly honored to be conferred the degree of Doctor of Science along with all of you. 
I was fortunate to be part of a family called ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, where I started my career.